The question is, can you drift it? So it self-corrects. Okay. So you can't overturn this vehicle like on icy or snowy conditions. And how does it drive on those types of conditions? Amazing, because it's truly all wheel drive, which makes it for a, a great and stable product on the ice and snowy roads, okay. as well as rain. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. So Jake, tell the audience a bit more about ReAuto. You're, you're a brand new company. You said sales are about to kick off very soon. We've been in business for about 11 years. Um, kind of went, became like an OEM uh, a few years ago, actually here in Anaheim, mm -hmm. uh, where we launched our P7C. And that's exactly what this is, correct? Correct. So what we showed there was just a concept, and now you're actually driving the vehicle that we were showing on display just two years ago, which is pretty incredible. And this is a production-ready version right now? Correct. And the nice part is like you're going over some speed bumps right now. Super smooth ride, twin coil over shocks on each wheel, which makes it for an incredibly smooth ride. It's nice. The, just like any battery electric, the moment you take your foot off the accelerator, it just stops. Yeah, the nice part is it's not dramatic either, as you probably notice. Like some of these uh, battery electric vehicles, they are really intense. This feels like it's more gradual into it um, for it, which makes it really nice. Now here you'll see you can turn it really hard and you can yep. really feel that uh, all-wheel steer. This all-wheel steering is really fantastic. That was an easy, easy turn. I was told this has the turning radius of a Toyota Prius. Yep. 39 foot turning diameter, which is pretty incredible. So for a, and we're driving a 16 foot box truck right now. Makes you feel like you're driving the SUV or your car. It actually, it feels very much just like your battery electric pickup truck or SUV. Yeah, exactly. It's, there is no transition involved here. The side mirrors. And everything is by wire, which is pretty incredible. So there, everything is by wire, drive, steer, and brake. First and only in the industry right now for that. Right. Now, steer by wire, for people who don't know, it literally means that when I turn the steering wheel, it's all software. The system, it, it, it's not that old analog with the gears, the mechanics. There's no mechanical connections whatsoever outside the wire. I mean, just the fact that it does it and it's so right. spot on quick is incredible. Yep. Yeah, even like the feedback you're getting out of your steering wheel, that's all software. Wow. Which is, you think about that, that's pretty incredible. Like I, we heard yesterday, it's like, this is like a PlayStation uh, <laughs> controller in a sense. I'm like, yeah, pretty Actually, much. Actually, yeah, the, the, even the, the the layout, it's it's modern, but it's very simplistic. simplistic. Yep. Yes. But the windshield itself is... Yeah, it's nice. It gives a visibility of like a cab over feel, but it's a traditional seating. doesn't feel like you're hanging over the road. Truly flat floor in the vehicle. Height of this vehicle is pretty incredible too. It can be a cutaway as well. That's one of the reasons for the height. A six and a half foot tall guy can actually stand up and cab with this truck. Now, customers can order just as a bare bones chassis, correct? Yep. And they can correct. add on... Whatever they want on the back, whether it's a box truck, service body, high floor, low floor, passenger vehicle, shuttle bus, whatever it ends up being. We'll help support whatever customer needs are. Navigating here through these kind of narrow cones and people yeah. walking by, I have no concern about being in their way or them getting in my way. It's very nice to have complete control. And yeah, exactly. And I obviously don't have any experience driving semi trucks, but this is the uh, just simply very easy. I nearly thought I was going to hit that cone there just now. I took that turn a little wide and I self corrected and it was no problem. No, not at all. That's, that's the best is nice. part about it. And I also like the steering wheel. It had it's um yeah, it's not a giant steering, steering wheel, wheel that you've seen. It's more of a uh, consumer style vehicle with the flat bottom. I like that correct it's touch, but it also has like a like a vinyl or a leather uh, cover. Yep, and it, this thing has all your creature comforts: Bluetooth, XM radio, CarPlay is an option, navigation, all built in this HMI screen. We have a backup camera on the vehicle, and it's actually displaying on the right side of the screen, which is pretty great. Again, the maneuverability—it's almost—it's it, fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun to drive. When I first got to drive this vehicle, we were doing not donuts, but literally just kept going in circles, just amazed how tight turning circles were of this vehicle, which is but, great. I hope everyone found the Re-Auto P7 chassis useful and interesting, and can't wait to learn more what you guys are up to next year. Be sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any more questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comments below.